As ISDA prepares a second round of treatment on the Snake River to try and eradicate invasive quagga mussels, several agricultural organizations have voiced support for their swift action. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, and I talked to farmers and irrigators about what a potential quagga infestation could mean to irrigation in the Magic Valley, where agriculture is the main economic driver. Yeah, it's this is a part of it right here. This is kind of when you start making your money and delivering everything to get what you need. So hopefully the bills pay themselves. So Overnight temperatures are dropping and for most farmers the harvest has been in high gear for weeks. For Larry Hollifield the next few weeks are the final push for the season. The next month will be really extreme. We'll, it'll take us about a month to dig all our sugar beets. After the announcement of quagga mussels detected in the Snake River last year and again this September, a coalition of major agricultural commodity organizations voiced their support for the Idaho State Department of Ag's aggressive treatment plan. Yeah, last year it was a real panic when they announced that. That is, gosh, something you're just scared of and been on the radar for a long time and you're just hoping it would never show up. This structure is, is critically important. When the Milner Dam was completed in 1904, it kicked off a transformation of South Central Idaho, allowing the desert to be irrigated. Jason Brown from the Twin Falls Canal Company showed me around the dam and the head gates of the system. Milner Dam diverts water uh, to three irrigation organizations that irrigate over 500,000 acres. Um, which is which is significant. Brown said the canal company has had a lot of conversations with industry peers in other states where quagga mussels have taken hold. They're clogging pipes, they're clogging intake pipes, and have heard stories that uh, really instead of uh, trying to get them out of the pipes, they just pull the pipe out and put a new pipe in. As soon as quagga gets a foothold, it's no longer about getting rid of them, it's about trying to keep water flowing in spite of them. As if that were to take root in in these types of structures, it would cost you know hundreds hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for maintenance and repair, and how that would impact uh, the economy would be significant. Everything, nothing would grow in this valley without water. Period. It's we're in the middle of the desert, and the heat and everything uh, would just annihilate everything if we didn't have irrigation. So that's required to grow any crop we do. ISDA is planning a treatment to take place sometime early this month. At Milner, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.